After the massive earthquake struck Turkey and Syria on the 6th of February 2023, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had immediately directed that all possible assistance be extended to the affected people in the two countries. A special team consisting of National Disaster Relief Force, NDRF, was dispatched to Turkey. The Indian personnel have been rendering all possible assistance to the people and government of Turkey. Operation Dost was launched to provide necessary support in terms of search and rescue, SAR efforts, as well as medical assistance. This has involved a whole-of-government approach with coordination among various agencies. This swift response led to the first C-17 IAF aircraft with a specialized SAR team leaving for Turkey within hours of a request of assistance being received. Since then, India has been able to send more than 250 personnel, specialized equipment, tents, food, medicines and other relief material amounting to more than 250 tons to Turkey on seven C-17 IAF aircraft. Three self-sustained teams of the NDRF Numbering more than 150 specially trained personnel were sent, along with dog squads, specialized equipment, vehicles and supplies. Their equipment allows for detection, location, access and extrication of people trapped under collapsed structures. In addition, personnel and equipment have been sent to set up three 30-bed self-sustained field hospitals of the Indian Army. This includes a team of 99 specially trained personnel with essential medicines, advanced equipment, vehicles and ambulances. These hospitals provide fully functional operation theatres and facilities such as X-ray and ventilators. The deployment of Indian teams in Turkey is being coordinated with the local authorities through the Indian Embassy, which has set up a camp office at Adana. The NDRF teams are rendering assistance in rescue operations at Gaziantep, while the medical team has set up the field hospital in Iskenderun. A team of officials of the Ministry of External Affairs has been deployed to Turkey to assist the teams involved in rescue and relief operations. The Indian Embassy in Ankara is also ascertaining the well-being of internationals in the affected region, particularly in Adana, Gaziantep, Malatya and Kahraman Marash provinces of Turkey, which have been the most affected due to the earthquake. The embassy has also set up a help desk, while serious logistical constraints such as road conditions, inclement weather and the ongoing rescue operations limit options, Indian officials are reaching out to some 10 Indian nationals who are reportedly stranded. Efforts are also ongoing to trace a missing national. More than six tons of emergency relief assistance has been delivered through a C-130J IAF aircraft to Damascus. The consignment to Syria includes medicines for emergency use, fluids for hydration, protective gear, general use medicines and medical equipment like ECG machine, patient monitor, etc. The consignment was received by the Deputy Minister of Local Administration and Environment of Syria, Dr. Mohtaj Duaji, at Damascus Airport. India is committed to extend all possible support to those affected by the devastating earthquake. Operation Dost is India's latest expression of being a first responder, a net security provider and a country whose humanitarian assistance and disaster relief response is quick and available to countries not only in the neighboring region but also beyond. Turkey's envoy to India, Firat Sunel, said Operation Dost is a very important operation. This is the operation of friendship because those in both Hindi and Turkish means friend. The operation shows the friendship between India and Turkey. True friends always help each other. Sunel said India also helped Turkey during the COVID-19 pandemic. He remembers that two years ago in 2021, India sent two aircraft loaded with COVID-19 medical assistance. Now, after two years, Turkey has been hit by devastating earthquakes and India has sent search and rescue teams as well as relief material to Turkey because real friends help each other in times of need. Three Indian teams are already on the ground in Turkey and have launched rescue operations at multiple collapsed structures, according to NDRF Director General Atul Karwal. The third team was airlifted from Varanasi to Delhi and the rescuers left for the disaster struck nation on board a special IAF plane. Makeshift hospitals have been set up by the Indian Army in the affected areas. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar said the Army Field Hospital in Iskenderun and Hatay have has started functioning with running medical, surgical and emergency wards, x-ray lab and medical store. Dedicated teams are working 24-7 to provide relief to the affected people.